Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be a quickie. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple cool things that you can add into your art, into your art journal, into your uh, ATC cards, paint, whatever, whatever you want to. Um, these are fun. And so we're just going to do a couple. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I have scotch tape, clear packing tape. You can get this at the dollar store. So that's great. Or you can get it at your local Walmart, Staples, whatever. And this is a piece of uh, paper that is glossy, obviously, that is from um, a magazine. And what we're going to do is hope that I can get this. Oh, yeah, we'll do it like this. So I don't know what side I'm going to do. Um, I picked the words. We'll see. Okay, so we'll just do the words. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to do my best. I taped it on itself so I wouldn't lose how to get it. But of course, you know me. Everything's a mess. I thought it was a good thing, but I guess not. So I'm going to pull a piece of that and I'm going to lay it on there and get what I want, you know, on there. And I'm going to take my scissors or you could take, you know, a end of whatever you have and you want to burnish it. So I'm going to go over the words or picture could be whatever you want. Like I said, you could do a picture. Maybe you found a cool flowers or, you know, and this just gives everything a cool look. Now, of course, can you just rip this out and uh, Mod Podge it down? Of course you can. You can do whatever you want, but this is just something different, um, you know, just to make it a little a little fun. Okay. So you can see. So then what you're going to do is, and you can cut off, like you see, I have some tape. You can cut off if you want, or you can leave it. It gives a transparent, um, cool look to it. So you do whatever you want. So I'm going to turn it over. Hot water works great. Um, maybe water. If I even had water sitting here, I don't know where it went. Because why? Why would I? So we'll just use these. And you're going to squirt water on it. And leave it sit for a second. Throw this away. And then you can see it becomes, you know, saturated. And then I go in and I just start. Sometimes it's easier if you take um, something to kind of like start it a little bit to get like a little bit of roughage. And then I will start rubbing it. When <laughs> people are like, do you have to rub the whole thing? I'm just showing you. If it gets too slimy or whatever, start, you know. Start a different, oh, my cheek, start a different area. Because sometimes that's what happens. But that making it rough, really. Because who doesn't like it rough once in a while? Okay. Just to really, get, it gives you like that friction that you need to get it going. And the longer, you know, you can leave the water sit a little bit longer, but um, you see, I didn't depends on your patience and I have none. Use my nail a little bit. Okay. Goodbye little beautiful man. Okay. I think you're understanding what I'm saying. And then You get this really cool. See how it's see-through? Oh, it's so cool. And I'll finish it in one second. I'm going to spray it again. I think the one. Now, obviously, you see I did it on white paper and it kind of the ink kind of got on there a little bit, which I don't care. I'll just I will uh, paint over or add it into whatever I'm doing because I do like that kind of thing. And you can also see which was a mistake of mine and that's okay. Mistakes happen. And I like doing mistakes because then it shows you what not to do. Um, 
So I just sprayed a little bit more water and you see how easy this comes off. So like flowers and all that, I'll use it in a um, art journal page or something. I'll do another one and we'll do it. But what I did, what the mistake was, and it's not a big mistake, but it does happen because I get very excited when I do things like this. Oh, that's a little sticky there. He's not coming off. He's like, oh no, don't want to get off there. Okay. I think for the most part, you are picking up what I'm putting down. I'll give it a quick wipe and dry. And you can be very, you know, all over the place with what you want to do. Now, underneath, if you have a color, because you can see it's very see-through, you can see what's like underneath of it. So if I, for instance, if I said, oh, let's put it here, how cool, then it picks up the colors underneath. So it's a really cool thing to do um, and play with. Now, the mistake I made, which isn't the biggest mistake, but I should have put another piece of tape or measured it better and moved the tape down here a little bit more so I got the whole word. I didn't. It's not the biggest deal. You can still read what it says. Now, something else I like to do sometimes with this, which I screw it up now, I'll do it over here. You see how like there's black behind it? If I go in and it takes a minute and you know, it's really not, I'll go in and scratch it up because I like to have um, a little bit more of a distressed look sometimes if I'm doing, you know, but I can get a little bit of that black off and you can use something sharper than this. It's not, it's just what I had sitting here. Let me just show you. And you can see on this side, some of it came off, but when I turn it over, it makes it a little bit more trans. Well, you can't see it because of the, oh, it's glossy. It makes it a little bit more transparent and then color will come through just a little bit better. Oh, this is, I love doing this. This is so cool. So when you glue it down, <laughs> when you glue it down, you can see the colors coming through. So you see how cool that looks. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And this underneath here. Oh, love it. So, I mean, there's so much to do. And when you keep the little bit of the extra clear, um, that maybe didn't get on the magazine or whatever, that too will make, um, you know, we'll have color coming through. So this is just the coolest thing ever. Okay. So that's number one. Very fun. You can get, um, magazines, you know, your local library gives them away when they're done. You know, like the people and uh, Women's Day and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when it's done at the end of the week, they throw them away. So you can ask them or you could go to, uh, you know, your dollar store or ask people. A lot of people, you know, have them and don't want them. And this is a great way to recycle. I also cut words out so I can uh, use them, you know, as well. I'm in the middle of organizing that. So these are old CDs and a lot of us have old CDs. So there's a million things you can do with them. One of the things I like doing is I will take, sometimes it comes off without, sometimes you need a little scratch. So I'm just going to go here and give it a scratch. So it kind of will lift up for me. Sometimes you don't have to. And then take clear tape. And I will lay it down kind of on that scratch. I will, oh, I'm so itchy today. And then I will start pulling. And what happens is, look at that. Look at that deliciousness, right? Working lights today. And it's very windy here in Jersey. So it's like the wind outside, the trees are going, the lights going. It's hard to record, but I think you get what I'm. Yeah, picking up what I'm putting down. Look at that. So then you just keep going in, and it depends on how um, big your tape is. So I'll do that, and then I'll kind of burnish it a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't work that way because I pulled it the opposite way. What you want to do? <laughs> Get so excited. I'm like a child. I'm a child. Let's, let's face it. So you want to pull it this way, and then it starts picking up more. And then do it again. Come on, baby. 
and you see it just keeps picking up more and more. <laughs> and you get this delicious, look at that. So once you get, I mean, you can see you have stickies left uh, on here and you just do this and rip it off and do this. Burnish it all around and lift it off. Then you turn it this way and you do the same thing and lift it off. And you can make a song of it if you want. Why not? Okay. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down because <laughs> I'm picking up this top of the CD. Okay. All right. So you get this deliciousness. Now, what do you do with it? Well, it's not sticky anymore except where the, you know, the tape is. Um, so you could go back in and get more. And it's like waxing for, um, if you're a waxer, your face, eyebrows, all their areas, depends on what you like to do. And that's all it's like. So you get this deliciousness. Well, what do you do with it? Well, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, you can die cut it into different pieces. You can cut it into shapes. You can uh, cut the, um, you can put some glitter. Oh, forget it. Uh, you can, you know, you can cut these extra pieces off and just use it as decoration uh, in your art journal ATC cards. You can use it as a moon. You can use it as, you know, cut it into strips and use it as a, a border. Oh, gosh, the stuff. You can make it into jewelry. You can roll it into beads. You see what I'm saying? And this is my favorite part. I know this looks bizarre because maybe if I put it on here. Gosh, it's the, the glossiness today. I'm really rocking the glossiness. If you put it down on your ATC card or what have you, you can see it picks up the, you know, can you? I don't even know. It picks up the color underneath of whatever you're putting it on. So that comes through and then you have this delicious rainbow holographic look. So this is a lot of fun as well. So I will not continue to bore you with my shininess, but you can Mod Podge it down, do whatever you want. And that is so much fun. So I hope this helped you guys for, you know, just a couple extra fun things you can do around. Maybe you have around the house, like I said, like an old DVD or an old CD since hardly none of us use them anymore. I oh, excuse me. I still have tons. I still use them a little bit, but um, magazines, whatever. So if you guys use this in any of your art, please tag me. All my information is down below. Uh, I'm at Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Facebook. Google's going away, so I don't know what else there is. Um, yeah, so as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I love you guys so very much. And I don't know why my camera stopped here for a second. Oh, please don't. Why did my camera stop? Just being a jerk. Hopefully, hopefully it's getting this end or I'm going to have to do another end and uh, we'll see what happens. So I love you guys. Share me everywhere. I would appreciate it. And let me know down below how you guys are doing today and what you have planned this week. I have a very busy week and uh, I think I'm going to do a vlog later while I'm sitting on the couch because there's a few things I want to catch up on um, that's been going on, just been very busy and just health stuff with everybody. And I just love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.